We all know that Doctor Strange is the Sorcerer Supreme. But do you know what food he thinks is supreme? Welcome to Comic Book Cooks, the show where we make a fictional character's favourite food. Today, Doctor Strange. So what is Doctor Strange's favourite food? That's actually a tough one. I found some old recipe for a stew, didn't look very good. And then through further research, I found out that he actually doesn't eat human food anymore. That's right, his body is so full of magic that he can't sustain human food anymore. So instead, he eats a slop of alien mess. And apparently tastes like leprosy. That is hilarious. So we're not gonna make that today, but what I did notice is that this dish is made up of noodles. And then through further research and looking at scenes like from No Way Home where Ned opens the fridge and sees a bunch of aliens and a pot of noodles. So it turns out that Doctor Strange loves noodles. Exactly. And what's the best type of noodles? Pad Thai. Ah, mm, yeah. Yeah. Uh. You can't live in New York and not have Pad Thai, so today we're going to make the best friggin' Pad Thai you've ever seen, and something that Doctor Strange would think is made up of pure magic. Oh my. Alright, let's make this thing. Okay, so for this dish I went with Shell on Shrimp, because let's face it, they look like they're from another dimension. I've come to bargain. First, we need to make our Pad Thai sauce, and we're going authentic with our ingredients today, folks. I don't want Uncle Roger ripping me a new one. Use the right amount, not the white amount. Start with 56 grams of tamarind paste, which is a sweet and sour fruit. Pour half a cup of boiling water onto it, and whisk until dissolved, removing any seeds once it's combined. Then take three tablespoons of palm sugar, which comes from the sap of a coconut tree, so cool, and whisk it into the mix until dissolved. Next, add two tablespoons of fish sauce, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of white wine vinegar, two teaspoons of soy sauce, whisk to combine, and you got a pad thai sauce on a scale hitherto undreamt of. Did you seriously just say hitherto undreamt of? Next, take two shallots and finely chop, then bash five cloves of garlic with a side of your knife, peel off their shells and get your garlic all naked. And then finally dice. Now chop two spring onions, then crush 50 grams of unsalted peanuts with the bottom of a pot, which saves you a ton of time on chopping them individually by the way. Then grab a cup of bean sprouts and a few lime wedges to complete your accoutrement. Congratulations. Now take 150 grams of rice noodles, submerge them in warm water and let sit for 20 minutes. Whilst your noodles are taking a bath, take 50 grams of dried shrimp, blend them until a powder consistency emerges, and you got some stanky shrimp seasoning. Now drain your noodles. We want them to be al dente, not soaked through. Otherwise things might go horribly wong when cooking them. <sighs> That's funny. Now start by heating two tablespoons of vegetable oil in a wok on high heat. Then add your four shrimp, flip after two to three minutes, and then cook for an additional two to three minutes or until they've changed color. Then empty out your wok and replace it with two new tablespoons of oil. Set to medium heat and drop your shallots and garlic in. Cook for two minutes, then add your noodles and your shrimp stanky stank. Stir to combine, then add your pad thai sauce, hitting the sides of the wok to let it all better incorporate. And cook for two minutes, giving it your best wok flip technique. Somehow no one seems to want to call it the strange technique. Now, turn the heat on low and push the noodles to the side. Crack two eggs into the wok, Scramble until halfway cooked, then blend the eggs and the noodles together. Now take one teaspoon of MSG, MSG FUYO! Sprinkle that umami gold dust in, then add half your spring onions, half of your bean sprouts, combine once more, and now it's time to plate. First add a generous portion of your noodles, then arrange your shrimp however you'd like. I went for a more sanctum sanctorum look. Do you see it? Now add your remaining bean sprouts, your crushed peanuts, the rest of your spring onions, two lime wedges, and it's time to eat. You ready? Okay, here it is. Pad Thai noodles, Doctor Strange's favorite food. Look at the pretty colors. That's more colorful than the dark dimension. All right, chopsticks, let's go in for my first bite. Okay, this is where the food is so good, I go through my own multiversal trip. 
Delicious. Oh my god, get the Aya Agamotto so I can go back in time and have that first bite all over again. The salty, sour sweetness that this dish has is just unbeatable. That sauce is hitting hard in those noodles. You've got the peanuts that have got a nice crunch to it. These bean sprouts, I've never been the biggest fan of bean sprouts, but they do work in this dish. Mm -hmm. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. Oh, let's sprinkle some lime, baby. Get it all limed up. Mmm. Oh, the tanginess of the lime. Another flavor. It's just amazing. This does not taste like leprosy. All right, let's go in for some of these shrimpies, shall I? Let's peel off the head. No one tried to be sick. That is buttery perfection. Ah, you sneak all good broads, eh? Doctor Strange may not know what the multiverse is, but he knows good food when he sees it. Wait, what? I'm gonna go eat the rest of this, so goodbye. Alright, bye bye. A few moments later. Alright, and this has been Comic Book Cooks. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a favourite fictional character and you want me to make their favourite food, sound off in the comments below. And please remember to like, comment and subscribe. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode. We all know that Doctor Strange is the magic mystic arts uh, wow. <laughs>